Today we are grooming Ollivander, and he's a 16-year-old Himalayan cat. Kitty, kitty. No? You don't want it? Nope. Oh, okay. That's fine. Where are you going? Okay, Ollivander. Oh, you don't want that? You must have it. Okay. Ollivander is on some pain meds before he's here because he is an older cat and he has some arthritis and stuff like that. He is used to being groomed at home, so let's see how he does at a salon. His nails are very long, so I definitely want to clip those first. Oh, oh. And we're going to start. Kitty, kitty. It's okay. Good boy, Ollivander. Good boy. Those are some really long murder mittens. Considering his back leg issues, I'm going to try not to lift his leg. If you could lay down, that would be ideal. Hey, 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 it's okay. You have been whipping your tail since you got here. Please do not bite me, I beg of you. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, even though he hasn't tried to bite me, he keeps moving a lot. I'm bringing his head towards my hand. Cat bites are very quick. They are super fast compared to a dog. So I don't really wanna take that risk. So we're gonna bubble him just in case. No, please don't use your back legs. Please, please don't. All right, holding you is definitely easier. Now he does have some matting, so I'm gonna try shaving out some of it before he goes for a bath. Well, actually, you know what? His matting kind of looks superficial. Looks like I might be able to blow it out. He is used to being bathed, so I'm hoping that he is okay when I put him in the tub. Good kitty, good kitty. She said you don't mind having a bath, so let's see if that's true. No, no, stay here. Are you peeing? No, oh, you have lots of poop on your butt. I probably should have shaved that before I brought you in here. What was that? Being 16 years old, he's really starting to have a hard time grooming himself. The owner does bathe and brush him all the time, but it becomes a lot of upkeep and he is starting not to like brushing because he is old and he is sore. That's why he's here getting a groom today. And let me tell you, this water is already brown. He is very dirty. So I think that I will give him a second shampoo outside of this because I'm going to have to dump this. It's very gross. You don't want to come out? Look, it's better over there. I don't know if you guys can see how gross that water is, but it was not that color when I put it in there. Okay, we're going to rinse you and then we're going to give you a straight shampoo because they're quite nasty. I'm hoping that the fluff off shampoo will really help to loosen up a lot of that shedding coat that's all stuck. They're a really good cat. Now 
before Kitty goes into the rage cage, I'm just going to clean the eyes. People always ask me why I don't clean their faces or wash their faces with water and that's mostly because most cats are really not fond of water, especially in their face. Especially cats like this that have more flat faces because they feel like they're going to drown and they panic and then they become very difficult to manage for the rest of the groom because they're stressed. So I just avoid it and I use a wipe. Usually the face is one of the least dirtiest places on the cat, so it doesn't really need to be washed. We're gonna go into the rage cage to blow dry Ollivander, and I will see you guys there. Okay, so it did a pretty good job of removing the majority of the mats from his coat, but I am going to just shave out some of the mats. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, that are a little bit thicker. Good boy. Oh, be nice. Oh, are you being mean? I can't tell. Don't be mean. Hmm? You don't like the clipper there? It's trying to help you. No, you don't like it. Okay, I'm putting you in the bubble. Sorry, bubble man. Oops, sorry. You all look so funny in this bubble, especially when they have long hair. Sorry, buddy. I know, you don't like it. These back legs are a bit of a mess. It's okay. Can we flop on your side? Stay there. He's trying to be so gentle even though he doesn't like it. He's like, please don't. I really don't want to have to use these weapons. Start with the brushing then. A lot of little tiny, not so great mats on your leg. The owner said she likes his hair and she would prefer that he wasn't shaved, but I could shave him if I wanted to. So I'm trying to save the coat and just shave out the matting and I'm gonna see what it looks like. And if I don't like it, then we may have to do the lion cut. I personally don't like how much he doesn't like the brushing. There's still quite a few mats in here that if I shave them all out, he is going to look half bald and it's going to look stupid. So I was hoping that I could just shave out the really big ones and then comb out the rest of them, but he is not liking it. Since he is an old cat and he's not taking care of himself properly, I just feel like this is going to be a reoccurring issue and he's constantly gonna have to see a groomer and he's constantly going to get brushed and he's not going to be happy about it. The owner at home said that he used to be great for brushing, but as he's getting older, he's not liking it. 
So what I'm going to do is shave them in a lion cut because then there will be less hair to manage. The owner won't have to worry about taking care of it as much and it will take a long time for his hair to grow back in and become an issue again. If he was very tolerant for brushing, I would brush out the majority of these mats, but because he's not, I'm taking the initiative to shave him because I think that that's what would be better for him. Okay, buddy, I think you'll pre prefer this. I'll stay there. Nope, nope, I know. He doesn't like the pulling. Even when the clipper touches the mats, he doesn't like it, so. I'm not putting him through it. I just don't think it's worth it. I think you're going to be a happier cat like this. Please don't lose your back paws. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. No, no, no. Don't start. Be a nice kitty. I know, you want to be nice. You just don't like it. Okay. This has to feel better. It's okay. It's okay. Don't scratch me. No, it's okay. It's okay. My GoPro was acting a fool today, so I unfortunately did not get all of the groom filmed. I decided to leave his tail long because it takes the longest amount of time to grow back, and it wasn't matted. His mane had very little matting, so I was able to brush it all out and trim it up with my thinning shears. He must have felt better after the groom because he was all about the churus. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you again in a few days.